Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus Review Samsung's best phone with a big screen and superb camera Our verdict You won't locate a greater and preferred Android telephone over the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, because of its curiously large 6.2-inch bended screen and low-light crushing double focal point camera. Without a doubt, it looks precisely like a year ago's S8 Plus, however it fixes the unique mark sensor area, it's currently fixate adjusted on the back, and speakers, now stereo. The newer emoji mode is exaggerated, however, and its higher cost is difficult to legitimize. This is for individuals who need the greatest screen and the best camera on one telephone. 4. Great low light camera. Better put unique finger impression sensor. Boyster of stereo speakers. Against. Not too extraordinary to S8 Plus. Our emoji mode is exaggerated. Expensive for 0.4 in of additional screen. The Galaxy S9 Plus is Samsung's most developed enormous telephone on account of its larger than average screen and sublime cameras, regardless of whether everything seems to be indistinguishable to a year ago's S8 Plus. Four months into its dispatch, that remaining parts at the highest point of our best telephones list. Without sensational changes to the plan, it's solitary and iterative refresh to the S8 Plus, yet it's an iterative refresh to an Android telephone that has been sitting close to the highest point of our best telephones list for as far back as 11 months. That is critical to recall. We've tried the Galaxy S9 Plus for a while now, and its low-light photographs and extra-large screen are the two most clear features. It's as yet Samsung's self-important 6.2-inch bended limitlessness show that will offer you on this more costly telephone over the 5.8-inch Galaxy S9, yet the two handsets have an enhanced 12MP camera that brags a f 1.5 most extreme gap. This is the main camera telephone with such a wide opening, giving the S9 and S9 Plus low light and commotion vanquishing powers that, much of the time, are further developed than those of even the Google Pixel 2 our past best telephone camera, and new LG G7 think with its AI camera. The S9 Plus advantages from Ray's double focal point camera, as well, giving it an indistinguishable facsibilities from a year ago's Note 8, the S9 has one focal point on the back. Its essential focal point can likewise catch super moderate movement video at 960 edges for each second in case you're not kidding about video and, in case you're not, utilizes its 8MP forward-looking camera to paint your face with our emoji props and covers. It's Samsung's turn on Apple's Animoji, yet don't get excessively amped up for it. It's fairly unremarkable, not at all like whatever is left of the telephone. Samsung has tuned into the negative input with respect to a year ago's handsets, and has astutely moved its counterbalance ray's unique mark sensor to a middle adjusted position. It's a more normal area, in spite of the fact that you may not require it because of the face open and iris filtering installed and working in the meantime. Tending to another inadequacy of the S8 Plus, Samsung at long last gives its leader telephones stereo speakers for a predominant sound. In case you're supposing a sudden accentuation on stereo speakers, confront open, our emoji and vertically stacked 12MP double cameras seems as though these are Samsung's interpretation of iPhone X highlights, you're correct. The S9 Plus attempts to coordinate everything Apple can do, however at a bigger screen measure and with a 3.5mm earphone jack, and it additionally bests the Google Pixel 2 XL's low-light photography in a few situations. The night method of the Huawei P20 Pro beats it in some low-light situations, yet not all. Interesting that Apple's and Google's handsets aren't the fiercest rivalry for the S9 Plus, it's Samsung's own particular telephones. The now less expensive Galaxy S8 Plus is an incremental downsize, perfect for anybody put off by the high S9 Plus cost, while the Galaxy Note 9 is likely three months away ideal for early adopters who have abundant money and an inclination for the S Pen and a marginally greater screen. That positions the S9 Plus at the best incidentally. At the present time it's the best huge Android telephone in 2018, but a costly one, until the point when the Galaxy Note 9 makes a big appearance in the second 50% of this current year. Samsung Galaxy S9 Discharge Date and Cost Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus discharge date was March 16, 2018. $840, 869 pounds, 1,349 Australian dollars, marks a hop in cost. It's as yet less expensive than an iPhone X. 
The authority Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus discharge date was Friday, March 16, two weeks after pre-orders opened on February 25, UK and Europe, and March 2, in the US. Its cost is more costly than a year ago's S8 Plus in the US and UK. In the US, it costs $839.99 for the S9 Plus opened through Samsung's legitimate site. That is just $10 more costly than the S8 Plus at dispatch, however it's currently $120 more costly than the typical estimated S9. The hole is broadening between the two sizes. Obviously, US transporters like Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile and Sprint break this the maximum into absorbable month-to-month -month expenses. However Verizon and AT&T charge $100 more over the long haul. Be that as it may, pretty much all American transporters offer $350 for late telephone exchange ins. In the UK, the Galaxy S9 Plus expenses £869. That is a major value climb over the S8 Plus, which cost £779 at dispatch. That is £90 more in multi-year. Out.